Steve from the Wives Corner, and today we're going to be reviewing the vintage Seiko Kinetic, June of 1997, from my homie, Darpa Blows. I will pin a comment in the description. Go over and follow his Instagram account. He has good content. So let's go ahead and get this review started. All right, guys. Let's do the wristwatch check. We have the Citizen Eagle 7, February 1982, vintage automatic watch with the beads by Gonzo Bracelet. Oh, yeah, that is nice. So we'll get into this review of this Kinetic, but I want to show you guys something on the full charge of the power since the second hand is getting ready to go to the 12. I want to do that first so we don't have to wait. So you hit the top button when the second hand gets to 12, and it indicates to you <clears throat> that it's all the way full. So down at the 30 minute marker, it's a seven to 14 day power reserve, okay? At, uh, and then it'll start ticking again. You'll see it'll start ticking again. At the five minute marker, it's a six to 48 hour power reserve. At the 10 minute marker, it's a two to four day power reserve. At the 20 minute marker, it's a four to seven day power reserve. And then, like I said, at the 30, <clears throat> it is a seven to 14 days. And you can see up the top, it has a danger of red to let you know it's very low. And you can see how it picked up to move again. So I wanted to show that real quick so we didn't have to wait uh, before the hand goes around again. And I also put the uh, chart of it. My chart is the one at the bottom. I actually looked it up from the case back to uh, Get all the information on this Seiko Kinetic Sports 100. So yeah, it's a really, really awesome uh, <clears throat> vintage vibe on the bracelet for sure. But the bracelet, it's uh, no micro adjustments. So yeah, you know, you're either going to have it just right, too tight, or too loose. So we'll go ahead and start with the specs. But like I said, I wanted to show the power reserve thing. I got it finally to the... Uh, 14 days max power reserve. I wear it every morning when I take my five mile walk and I shake it like 2,000 times off my wrist a day. So it's a lot of work. Once I get a uh, watch winder into the channel, I think I'll just put it in that once, once a week. So, okay, the crystal to the case pack, we have a 12.2 millimeter. The lug width is a 22 millimeter. <clears throat> the width of the case from the 10 to the 4 position is 39 millimeter. And the uh, lug to lug tip is a 40.1 millimeter. <clears throat> this is 10 bar water resistance, which is 328 feet. It didn't have the hard legs back. Uh, on these, they had what's called the Saflex crystal, not the hard legs. Um, so that's what this had. I don't know when or if just Seiko used that on the kinetics or I didn't really research all that, but it's a Saflex. It says it right on the back. And I do like it that it does have an focus, focus, an exhibition case back. You can see the rotor and all the information about the watch around the uh, outside of it there. And I thank you again, DARPA Blows, for this gift. He gifted me this. He's an Invicta guy. He's been sitting in his drawer for ages. And, I mean, hey, he, he knows I like all kinds of watches. And I really appreciate him so much doing this. I think Goguru likes it, too. But I like it how it has the, the different color of the indicators letting you know about the warning of the charge. And I do want to explain about this technology because, yes, it does have a rotor. But the way it works is... When you charge the watch by movement on your wrist, from the rotor spinning around, it creates an electric charge which stores in a blank storage battery called a capacitor. And it's similar to the same basic principles as like uh, the, the EcoDrive Citizens where they have a blank storage battery and I'm like a capacitor that stores the solar energy into, <clears throat> you know, the capacitor, the blank storage battery to keep the power in. Now, with these, just like 
with the eco drives, you do not want to keep letting them go all the way down to a zero charge. That's the easiest way to burn this capacitor out of this. Uh, DARPA blows put a brand new capacitor in it for me before he sent it. But that's the easiest way to um, burn these capacitors out. So you have to do what I do. Either use it when you're doing your exercise walk and shake it a few thousand times a day. Put it in a watch winder. But if you keep continually letting this go down to zero, it's going to screw up the capacitor. So you don't want to do this. This watch, I love it. It was a gift, but it's just like having a darn dog. You have to walk it. And I mean, it took a full seven days to get it. So that power indicator was down at the 30 minutes. I mean, and I was shaking it. Uh, when I first got it, I shaked it probably 4,000 times a day for the first two days. It was crazy. So there's a reason why I don't have <laughs> many of these in my collection, especially the vintage. The vintage only has a 14-day power reserve, which is horrible. You got to remember, though, this is a 97. The new ones have a six-month power reserve. So, you know, I wouldn't be weary or worried about getting the new one because, like I said, a six-month power reserve. With all that I, that I did to this, that one would have been good to go. And... I figure with one that has a six month power reserve, you know, <clears throat> maybe put it on your wrist a few times a month and you should be good. And this is noisy. I'll see if you can hear it when I shake it. Sure, that's picking up on camera. Very noisy. Now they say that some watch winders do not work with this. Um, but you know, I've talked to people like my friend, my Seiko Obsession JR, he puts his in once a week and it keeps it charged and doesn't have a problem. Uh, I just heard that some don't really activate the rotor right, you know, right on it. But I do like this. I don't recommend the vintage one. Like I said, this was gifted to me. I love it. It'll stay in my collection forever. I don't recommend you getting a vintage one. I recommend if you want to get a kinetic, only get one because of the six month power reserve and that's it. Because you're just asking for a problem if you have a large collection like me for this thing just to die. So I am doing a good job every day of shaking this and giving it lots of attention at four o'clock in the morning when I get up to feed the kitties and to go take my walk. So I don't recommend this vintage one at all. Now the bracelet does have a pin and collar system in it. Um, <clears throat> when I was shaking at work when I first got it, one of the pins came out. And obviously the collar wasn't installed in it right now. DARPA told me that he, he had it somewhere to get it taken care of and they didn't put the collar back in it. See, the problem with pinning collar is if you don't know that the watch has it in the system and you take it out, it's going to go flying out. And then you're going to put the pin back in and give it back to the person. And then when they put it on, the pins are going to come out. So that's what happened to this. So I had to have a new, you know, pin and collar put in it, but it was no big deal. I took it to my local jeweler down at the mall and they took care of it for me. So yeah, that's all I have for this. If you like this kind of content, please give me the thumbs up. Please comment and please subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you so much. I really do. And please remember, time is short. Let someone you care about know how much you love them today. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great evening. Oh, real quick, I want to show the, the bracelet. I didn't do that. So it just snaps on like that. So you got the, the mill butterfly clasp, which is very nice. I just wanted to add this in because I did not.